yo yo what's going on y'all so i have a message coming from holy spirit i don't know where the message is coming from but it's coming okay <laughs> so let's get into this message holy spirit please lead me and guide me in the way that you need me to go for i know it's to you that all things are possible and it's in your name that i pray amen <laughs> The yoke of my transgression, the yoke of my transgression is bound by his hand. They are reaped and come up on my neck. He hath made my strength to fall. The Lord hath delivered me unto their hands, from whom I am not able to rise up. The Lord hath trotted under foot all my mighty men in the midst of me. He have called an assembly against me to crush my young men. The Lord trotted the virgin, the daughter of Judah, as in a winepress. For these things I weep. Mine eye, mine eye runneth down with water, because the comforter that should relieve my soul is far from me. My children are desolate because the enemy prevailed. Zion spreadeth forth her hands, and there is none to comfort her. The Lord hath commanded concerning Jacob that his adversaries should be round about him. Jerusalem is as a menstruous woman among them. The Lord is righteous, for I have rebelled against his commandment. Here I pray you, all people, and behold my sorrow. My virgins and my young men are gone into captivity. I called for my lovers, but they deceived me. My priests, my wine elders, gave up the ghost in the city, while they thought, while they sought, while they sought their meat to relieve their souls. Behold, O Lord, I am in distress; my bowels are troubled; my heart is turned within me, for I am grievously rebelled abroad. The sword bereaveth. At home there is a death. There is as death. They have heard that I sigh. There is none to comfort me. All mine enemies have heard of my trouble. They are glad that thou hast done it. Thou wilt bring the day that they hast called, and they shall be like unto me. Let all their wickedness come before thee, and do unto them as thou hast done unto me, for all my transgressions, for my sighs are many, and my heart is faint. So, there is someone who is under attack from their enemies, and You also may feel as if your children are under attack as well. You may have been crying because you feel like you can't find any relief for your soul. The enemy is not only attacking you, but they are attacking your children. And you have no one to comfort you. You may be feeling um, stomach pains.
You may have stomach pains. There is someone who wants to cause you a lot of sorrow and they want to make you a slave to them. They want to capture you. They want to capture you in a sense that you have no choice but to come to them. You may have tried to call out to other people and they didn't help you. They lied to you. Maybe they lied to you and said that they were going to help you and they didn't. They only helped themselves. And you may be in distress. You may have extreme anxiety, so you may be worried about something from day to day. You may be feeling a lot of sorrow and pain, heartache, heartbreak, suffering. You may have a little you may be a little angry, but it's because of everything that you are going through at this time. You may be worried, unhappy. just very upset in a very difficult situation in which one does not have enough money, food, or etc. And you have no one to help you, no one to call on. And those who you did call, they, they lied, okay? They lied to you, they deceived you in some kind of way. And they only used what they had in order to help themselves to relieve their own souls. And your heart is troubled. And you may want, you may feel like you want to rebel. Against the Lord. At home, there is a death. So you may feel like someone that you live with doesn't have a heart for you. They don't care if you are breathing or how you are mentally.
they someone sees that you are in a in a position or a space where you are sighing and there is no comfort for you so someone may see that you're sad and they are not trying to comfort you all your enemies know that you are suffering and they are glad that it is done that you are suffering And you may have told the Lord, let their wickedness come before thee and do unto them as they have done unto me. Because for your sighs are many and your heart is faint. So you may be praying for vengeance for your enemies, for what it is that they are doing to you and against you at this time. You feel like you don't you feel like you're not strong like you don't have any strength. And you feel like the Lord has delivered you into these people's hands or he is allowing what they are doing to prosper. You feel like you are not able to rise up against what it is that they are doing. But what the Lord is putting on my heart to say is 12:12 in a time that you don't feel like praying you should pray, you know, um, express to the Lord how you really feel, you know, even if it, if, if it's bringing down tears and it's bringing out anger. And if you're upset with the Lord, even if you are upset with the Lord for what is happening and you don't feel like praying or you don't feel like talking to the Lord, the Lord said, get down on your knees and tell him how you really feel. Because he knows anyway, but go ahead and get it out and tell him what's in your heart. If you can't believe that this is happening or he's the, that you feel like he's allowing this to happen, say that. Talk to him. If you, if you feel like you can't move forward or you can't do your job or what he's called you to do because of what you're going through and you're suffering, then say that. Tell him that. And if it calls crying and anger, that's fine. Tell him that though. Prayer and supplication. Okay, you have to let the Lord Lord know what's on your heart so that when so that he can turn things around for you. And you'll know that it was him that did it. This too will increase your faith. So at a time that you don't feel like praying is a time that you should pray. At a time that you don't feel like talking to the Lord because you're angry about what the what's going on or what's transpiring against you. And you don't feel like talking to the Lord or you're upset that it's happening. This is the time that you should pray. And this is the time that you should talk to the Lord, even if you fuss in a little bit. Even if you can, even if it's, I don't understand why you letting this happen. How can I, how can I do my, my job, what you've called me to do? If I don't have enough money, if I don't have enough food, how can I do what it is that you've called me to do? I need to eat. I need to be able to survive. It's a time that you need to let the Lord know how it is that you're feeling. Okay, this can also be a test for you to see how you're going to handle the situation. The Lord knows that you don't have anybody there to comfort you. The Lord knows that you don't have anybody to help you. The Lord knows that you don't have anybody to take help to take care of you. The Lord knows you don't have anybody to take care of you. The Lord knows it's all up to him. So this is, you have to get down on your knees and you have to pray to him and you have to talk to him, whether you're angry, sad, whether it causes tears, whether you're doing it with your arm crossed and your head shaking, Talk to the Lord.
mine eyes runneth down with water because the comforter should relieve my soul is far from me so you don't feel like you don't feel like the holy spirit is there for you you don't feel like or it's either you don't feel like the holy spirit or god is there for you or you don't feel like um someone who the lord sent to help you is there for you it's either one but either way crying upset feeling angry the way you feel in misery get down on your knees and still pray and let god know how you're feeling let him know that you feel like the enemy is prevailing. Tell him, tell him that. There is somebody, there is a man that is going through adversary because of you. This man was supposed to take care of you. He was supposed to be there for you. And he did not. And he didn't do that. This person is um, opposing you, but this 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 man that is it's this man that is attacking you, that is your enemy, the one who is supposed to take care of you. This is the person that's attacking you, because the word says, The Lord have commanded concerning Jacob that his adversary should be around about him. Because you are someone who is in peace. You are someone who is peaceful. But now you may be feeling stomach pains. And it's because of this man that's attacking you. This is someone that was supposed to be taking care of you or protecting you. The Lord wants you to pray to him, pray to him, pray to him and let him know how you feel and tell him what it is that you need. I'm hearing a song in my mind, Miracle Worker, Waymaker, Miracle Worker, Light in the Darkness. The Lord wants you to know he's the way maker. He's a real miracle worker. And he's the light in the darkness. And your enemies will not prevail against you. But come to him and talk to him and tell him how you're feeling. Regardless of the emotions that you're feeling. He fine with you being angry. He fine with you being frustrated. He fine with you being irritated. I mean, not fine with it. He's not fine with it. But he's fine if you come to him with these emotions. He's not going to feel some kind of way because you're coming to him with these emotions. He's not going to think that you are ungrateful or unappreciative. If you come with him with these emotions to with him to the, with these emotions. Okay. The Lord wants you to pray for him. Pray to him at this time, prayer and supplication. Tell him how you feeling so he can help you tell him what you need so he can help you. Okay. And this word is coming from Lamentations one and it's entitled Jerusalem complains of her grief. So this is a woman who is very peaceful, who only wants peace, who only brings peace. She don't cause no problems, but she is feeling grief. The Lord said, it's okay for you to complain to him. You might not want to complain to the Lord, but the Lord said, it's okay for you to complain to him. That's what he there for. You are feeling deep sorrow. Regret. Mourning, heaviness of heart, heartbreak. How do you release grief from your body? Take a short walk or working in your garden. The Lord says, whatever it is that you enjoy doing, 
do that to help you to relieve stress. I feel so much. I feel like crying. I feel so much um, on my heart. I feel heavy and I feel like crying because somebody is really hurting. They really hurting. And they feel like it, it hurts so bad that they feel like they don't lost somebody. And this is somebody who don't, they don't do nothing to nobody. They don't bother nobody. And they getting attacked by people that's supposed to. My heart is heavy for you. And the Lord says it's okay for you to complain to him. Come to him and complain. And that's okay. For you to come to him and complain to him. Because that's what he there for. He your father. You can come to him and tell him anything. Your suffering, your affliction, your heartache, your heartbreak. Your anger, your mourning. I feel so heavy in my heart for this person. Because I've been to, in that place too. Because you're somebody who just want peace. You just want peace. You don't bother nobody. You do your best. And the Lord said, just come to him. My heart just got so heavy. The Lord said, do what it takes. Do something that you love to help you to relieve stress. Go for a walk. Walk through your garden, whatever it is. I don't know. But whatever it is. The other day I painted. Because I was going through some stuff. And I painted this. I don't know if you can see it or not. But just know that no weapon formed against you will prosper. In the name of Jesus. No weapon formed against you will prosper in the name of Jesus. And talk to the Lord and tell him how you're feeling. And it's okay if you're complaining. The enemy is not going to win or prevail against you. And I know you may feel like that at this time. But go to the Lord. Tell him how you're feeling. Tell him what you need to move forward and to keep doing his will and his way. Let him know. And he'll take care of you. But don't try not to talk, not to, talk to him or not to complain. Because that's what he there for. He our father. Alright. That's the message y'all. Peace.